Raif Anand, Malas France. Right now, I am a legal advisor in a law firm in, in France, in Paris. And then I'm also a UN expert on the people of African descent. And uh, I am the member of the French Fanon Foundation. What Fanon began to do as a activist, psychiatric, journalist, etc. It was to to find the way the way to free the people from alienation, colonial alienation. He was not alone, it was not the only one doing that. I was in the sixties there was a movement with the people with the people doing that. We can think to Lumumba, to Steve Biko. They tried to free the people of alienation, but they did not succeed to end the process of uh, liberation. Uh, and what they get is the liberation of the people, but not the emancipation. And I think we have now to think how we can get the emancipation of the people in order to have a human being, human being a free human being, non-alienated, emancipated and not racialized, not, uh, not stigmatized for reason of gender, whatever the, the reason. And uh, that's why the work introduced by Fanon is still relevant, because in fact, this work is not ended. But the, he organized, he, saw, he thought at, the moment, at this moment, the first step, steps of this uh, processus of emancipation. The issue he was uh, thinking of the place of human being. What does it mean to be human? The question of uh, universality. Is there uh, a real universality or a colonial universality? Is it a decolonial universality or colonial? And uh, at this moment and until now, it is only the colonial universality, not decolonial. All these questions he raised, we need now to, to give answer and to give a solution to get, in order to get it. When you read uh, The Rituals of the Earth or the or, uh, L'An 5 de la Révolution Algérienne, there is some, uh, some thinking on the evolution of the coming world, but uh, via the African, uh, the African continent, uh, it was anticipated if African continent does did not build the unity of African continent, they will fail their uh, liberation movement, and it is exactly where we are. And that's a problem also because African continent is not the, Afri the continent we need in order to balance the international relation. And the African continent is still under colonization, even if it's a new form of colonization, is under colonization now, not only of uh, former colonized countries, but also IMF, uh, World Bank, uh, European, uh, European Bank, the uh, European Commission, uh, uh, European Union, as the salary of the functioner of uh, African Union is paid by Europe. Uh, the main obsession and objective for him was how to build uh, African unity without former colonizer. Otherwise, if to maintain the former colonizer in, a, in a one way or in another way, you are still under colonization, and it is the reality now. We need a third force, and not to leave uh, this uh, stupid occidental country uh, do, do what they want, how they want, and to bring war everywhere. I 
I don't know how we can proceed. Really, I don't know because it's a terrible situation. We don't know how. We, here we are under emergency state. It means uh, our uh, private and uh, public uh, freedom are really reduced, and everybody can be arrested. For example, if someone here pass and understand that we are speaking about uh, emancipation or whatever and he, he misunderstands something, he can go to the police and say, you see, I have some people and we could be uh, denouncing, we could be arrested. No access to lawyer, no during uh, 72 hours. And then it's terrible, it's really terrible. There is a, when there is manifestation or when the, the COP 21st, December 2015, I think, a lot of people were arrested without any reason, without any reason, without any proof, just by denouncing, denouncement or suspicion, but without uh, tangible, uh, tangible proof. That, that's why I really, um, and the people are afraid, that's why also the problem is, the consequences now, the people are afraid or are afraid to to be engaged, they are afraid also to lose their work. They are uh, most of the people are living in uh, with anxiety. They succeed to to win and to impose the way of life they want in order to control the people. Related to Fanon, what Fanon said about the colonization, how it affects the colonized people. Now we are in the same situation, but not, not because colonization, but because globalization. And uh, they, they succeed to maintain in uh, all of us a high level of anxiety, of fear, uh, walking in the public space, you don't know if there is attacks or uh, whatever, because globalization, if you are out of the globalization system, you are out, totally out. And to the people, most important thing is to be maintained inside this globalization system. And uh, it's functioning exactly like the colonized uh, system. It's very interesting. I think really we have to think at that. What Fanon said about colonization, how it could be applied, to the globalization system. Really, very, very intelligent. <laughs> I just, uh, because we have an interview, I did not think before that.